Hey everybody, Courtney here. I wanted to tell you a little bit about how I meal plan because I think that this is the biggest question that I always get is how the heck do you go from opening up all these containers to knowing what to put in them. So I want to go through a little mini snippet about what tools I use. And I'm going to use 22 Hardcore program as my example since I am starting that on Monday. The 21 Day Fix, Max 30, their Hammer and Chisel, I believe all of those programs use the colorful containers that you get with them as well. So um, I think there's a picture of it in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Just a little picture of what the containers look like. There's about seven smaller ones and they actually are all just dishwasher safe so and microwave safe so it makes for really good Tupperware. But in this program, again, I'm just using the 22 Minute Hardcore. The other programs are just a little different. But it kind of goes through your initial briefing, your gender, your weight, your activity level. And then based on that information, they put you into one of the plans. And the plan that I am on is plan one, which is 1200 to 1499 calories. So, of course, this is a range and I'm not going to be counting them. I'm going to be filling all the containers with all the food that I use. And then I'm going to be probably adding maybe one or two green ones, vegetables, as I go along in case I'm hungry. So the green ones are the vegetables, purples are fruits, reds, proteins, yellows are carbs, blues are fats, orange is seeds and dressings, and these little teaspoon things are oils and nut butters. And that's very consistent through all the programs. But for plan one, it says for breakfast, Shakeology snack, snack, lunch, and dinner, they actually give you which colored containers you need to eat in each meal, which is something that is different than the 21 Day Fix or the Max 30 or Hammer and Chisel. They actually tell you how many containers you're allowed for the whole day, and then they expect you to figure out where to put it in the meal plan. I think that 21, 21 Day Fix was easier for me. Um, I think it was also because I was so new with the program that I was really focusing on it. But the 22 minute hardcore, all these numbers, sorry. <laughs> 22 minute hardcore is, I feel like, easier because it does tell you all the containers. So then, how do I go from this chart to actually filling my stuff? So, I actually made just a Word document on my computer and I have it all spanned out. Uh, this might be backwards. Not sure. All the words? Not sure. I'll find out when I post this. But as you can see, I have breakfast and then I have the days listed. And then all of my container colors on the left or your right? Uh, the left of the sheet. So each day I'm going to pick a green and then I'm going to put that in this slot right here. Now, as you know, when you look into the manual, there are green foods listed. The most nutrients ones are at the top, I believe. That's the way the 21 Day Fix was structured. I think they carry that over to the other programs. Purples, all the fruit options for you, so on and so forth. So I pick one of those and then I put it into the blank on the page. So now I, you have snack, lunch, and then another snack. My second page is my dinner, and then I have miscellaneous. So I copy the workout that I'm supposed to do onto this as well. And then all the supplements that I use. So I use the E&E before my workouts, the recover after the workouts. I haven't actually got this in the mail yet, but the recharge, I just ordered it last night. So I should have that. It's what you drink right before going to bed. And then I also take three other supplements. So the joint supplement with the glucosamine for my knees. The calcium magnesium, which are always good for women to take, and then the omega 3s. But then, how do I go from this chart to knowing what to buy? So I go through all my days and translate that into my grocery list. So I have vegetables, greens, fruit, purple, and then I have all of them listed. And then what I do is I'll put, let's say I put kale up on the vegetables. 
I'll put a one slash for one day. And then if I need another serving of kale for the next day, I put a second slash. And then when I go to the grocery store, I'll say, oh, I need like four servings of this. Probably means I need a large bag of kale. So it takes a little bit of time, but once you get this, and then you put all the food in your fridge, then it actually is pretty easy throughout the week. Um, one thing to note is that because you're eating a lot of fresh vegetables, you might, and fruits and foods, you might want to research which foods are best for freezing. So, for example, the greens, we have our temperature pretty high on our fridge, so the greens stay fresh all week long. But sometimes the fruit doesn't. So what I do is eat like strawberries, for example, only last like three to four days. So what I'll do is eat those first and then apples or something I'll eat mostly towards the end of the week. And for like the meats, we freeze half the meats in our freezer and then eat them in the end of the week as we go along because the meat, I'm weird about meat, I only leave it in the fridge three to four days before eating it. And even the fourth day, I'm like, I sometimes don't even eat it because I'm so weirded out about the time. Um, yogurt lasts for two weeks. So if you don't necessarily eat the whole container in the first week, you can always use that the next week. Um, cause cheese is the same way. Almond milk is the same. Eggs are very resilient in the fridge. So it's trial and error, but once you get it, and once you do it more often, then it becomes easier and easier as you go along. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of tips on how I do it, and if you need me to help you through anything, and if you need to know kind of um, how I structure it, or if you'd like even just the template of this, I can give it to you, and then you can make it your own. So this is, again, is the 22-minute hardcore um, and then if I give you a template, then you can just revise it for the program that you're using. So I find this really helpful. It's just one of those tools that makes my life easier. I'm not the most organized. And even this kind of fails me sometimes just because I'm not that organized. But at least it's a template that gets me started. And as long as I go to the grocery store and get the right things, then I can usually mix them up in the right way when I get home. So hope this helps. And I will talk to you all soon.